Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303. Welcome back to another unboxing a ton of dope shit. So, we got some apparel, we got some sneakers, we got a lot of dope nerd shit, dude. Like, I'm super excited to show you guys this nerd shit. It is some of the best nerd shit, in my opinion. First up, tech. What? This is not nerd shit. This is kind of performance related, but kind of not. This is a ball pump. Shout out to my boy Elijah, or Eli. He told me about these. It's got this cool little pump on there, and it, it has all of the um, different balls on there. <laughs> That's what she said. Haven't dropped the That's what she said joke in a minute. But we got volleyball, football, and soccer, uh, leather football, and then also basketball. There's an air release pump back here, too. So with this thing, you can make sure that your balls are pumped up properly to the correct PSI level, which I think is awesome. If you're interested in any of this stuff, I will leave links if I can find them again down below in the comment section, but I, or not comment section, damn it, in the description box. Might be losing my mind quicker than I thought. But I'll put that in there, and uh, this was on Amazon, so, you know, shout out to Amazon. Nerd got this super dope Nightwing hat. This is not a dad hat, this is a fitted. So, got this, thought it was really awesome. It's actually a new era, which was kind of interesting, and I absolutely love this thing. I got this thing, which is called a Kawaii Cube. Hmm? It's like a fake zoom zoom or whatever. If you guys don't know what zoom zooms are, then sorry. Or zoom zooms, whatever the hell. This guy is uh, is Nightwing. They've got Suicide Squad along with a bunch of other you know DC characters. This is all the regular uh, versions, but the Suicide Squad movie is an actual you know set or whatever of this. I didn't care to grab any of them because I don't care. But if I find Flash, Robin, and that's probably it. I'll also Batgirl, then I'll probably grab those. I did run into Batman, but again, none of the other characters were there, so I just didn't bother with it. But if I can grab the entire bat family I will but if not I'm totally happy with my mini cube counterpart I think I'm just gonna keep it going with the nerd shit, so bear with me guys that are not into nerd stuff sorry not sorry pop figures so I grabbed this over at Hot Topic and I really wanted this one that has the actual mask because I could care less about you know actual Gwen Stacy's face but I still think that spider Gwen is cool so I grabbed her anyways and then huge shout out to I can't remember your name but he's a supporter I'm really bad with names so don't feel bad I'm, I don't even remember my mom name actually I do that's a lie but still he's the one that was just like yo did you grab the Green Ranger and I was like where and he just pointed it I just totally like didn't see it because they were on the counter so I grabbed it I wasn't originally planning on grabbing any of these because these are the most recent and then they dropped the pink white and red Rangers a couple years ago and those guys are on eBay for ridiculous amounts of money I'm talking like like Jordan retro price amounts of money no joke it's crazy uh, but you know running into it I can't pass it up I mean it was just sitting there so so might as well grab some shirts while I was there. This one was just too cool, dude. I had to grab it. Being an original TMNT fan, this was a must-have. And then this one was too cool also. I've talked before how much I like all of the costumes in the Spider-Man you know, universe because he has like some of the coolest costumes and it's got all of them on here, which I think is dope. And I think this was from the most recent like Spider, you know, universe or it says Spider-Man Unlimited down there. But there was a comic series, also a uh, mini series on the new Marvel Spider-Man cartoon which is awful. It's it's made strictly for kids. But, um, you know, I think that's what this is from, but uh, I just like that it had every single, like, really dope costume on there. It doesn't have every single one, but it, it's got it's got most of them. You know, it's missing, like, the black suit Spider-Man and the armored Spider-Man and just little things like that, but it's not a big deal. It's got, it's got most of the cool costumes on there, so I thought it was sick. Keeping with the Spider-Man theme, I ran into this thing at Toys R Us, and I thought it was sick. This is a giant-sized Marvel Legends action figure. I don't know if you can see him, but he's right there and it's the same exact figure but like six inches and this is I think a 12 inch well it doesn't say on the box but for those of you that don't know before I was doing the whole YouTube thing I not only you know collected shoes as I could um, but I was a huge action figure collector I had over 3,000 action figures I had the entire Marvel Legends series from the original series one to whatever the most recent at that time was, which was back in like 2009. And on top of that, they had these larger figures, which were like this. They had Venom, Spider-Man, uh, Wolverine, you know, Iron Man, all kinds of different ones. And I bought all of them. Nightcrawler, like seriously, like they had a ton. And uh, my house was just getting filled with uh, lots of toys and lots of shoes. <laughs> and my wife was like, bro, you gotta pick one. And so I picked shoes because that was something that I thought had potential to, you know, turn into somewhat of a business or another source of revenue or something like that and it turned out to be true so glad that I did that but since then I've obviously gotten back into action figures and uh, you know you can't you can't stop your passion like completely like you'll always if you're truly passionate about something you'll always be interested in it somewhat I always would look at the action figures but I would never buy them and and now I'm fortunate enough to be able to you know not just look at them but also buy them again so I think this is dope embrace your nerd side if you have one don't be ashamed of it it is still 
still cool to be a nerd. It's always been cool, but now it's like really cool. Chicks actually dig it, which is awesome. Last item of nerd bam! A Nightwing backpack, dude. Wish I could go back to school. Just kidding, school sucks. Make sure you get your education, but you know, for me, school sucks. However, school would have been a little bit cooler if I had this Nightwing backpack. Synthetic leather, ballistic style mesh, plenty of pockets, including laptop holder. Woo. I wish I had this for my Adidas event. I would have loved to have brought this with me. But at the next event I go to, this will be on my back. Now I got this package in. Uh, it looks like it's from Cousins brand. So, you know, we'll see what, what's in here. All right, so it looks like we got some, some new stuff. I do believe I have a, a promo code for Cousins brand, so. When I find it, I'll leave it in the description box. Got a cool dad hat. This one's white. This will go really nicely with my Ultra Boost or the USA Crazy Light Boost or my All White Crazy Light Boost or my All White Ultra Boost Uncaged or just kidding. But yeah, this is dope. White, red, can't go wrong with that. Looks like we got some USA themed stuff. This is kind of neat. This reminds me of a baseball jersey and a basketball jersey wrapped into one. Who remembers who wore number nine in the Olympics? If you don't remember properly, just leave now. Just leave. I won't judge you, but just leave peacefully. And last but not least, we got some shorts. These are sick too. They actually have a pocket. Oh, they have pockets on the sides and a zip pocket in the back. This is some heavy duty waistlining right here. Cousins branding patch. This is dope. I'm gonna have to rock these. I don't like pants, but I love shorts. Powerade sent me something random, but we'll check out what it is. Oh, what do you know? It's Powerade. Surprise, surprise. Watermelon strawberry wave. I believe this is a flavor I've tried already. Can't remember. Powerade doesn't taste good when it's warm. Except for that one, that one actually tastes kind of good. With the Powerade, they sent a bunch of this, bunch of this crap, so thank you. Just kidding, they also sent a shirt. Looks like they're still going with their Just a Kid campaign. So here it is, it's uh, Just a Kid from the USA, done in that gold foil. This would look really cool with the new Olympic style kicks that are coming out, the uptempos, the 95 or 96 air pennies. Not the actual air pennies, but you know, the, the Zoom 96s or whatever that he wore in the Olympics. Those would go well, well with this, along with, what was it, the white the white and gold Air Jordan 11 lows. Those are dope. There's a white, black, and gold Air Jordan 5 coming out, match with this. Those are dope too. So if you like gold. I love gold. I think this might be a new option. I'm not positive, but I'm assuming that that's why they sent it. So if I can find information on where you can still make these, then I will leave it in the description box below. Moving on, last item, Nike ID. What do we got? Paper. Oh, did you feel that? Uh, yeah, Nightwing senses are tingling. I can feel a lot of people hitting the thumbs down button because they're bandwagon Kevin Durant and warrior haters. Whew. Shit, I think I'll make it. We'll keep it going. So these guys right here, it's the Golden State colorway. This is the home. There was also an away with an all blue upper. And there was a third random option on the sneakers app that had a multicolored weird looking fly knit up front with the same color scheme. And these were available only on Nike ID. So I overpaid for them because uh, I really wanted a Kevin Durant shoe and Warrior colorway since he's now a warrior. So here they are. I will do a separate review comparing these to the retail versions for anybody interested in, you know, what the quality is like on these guys here since this is technically a Nike ID. And I remember in one of the videos, I've done two performance reviews on this shoe. One in a half a size down, which I still play into this day. One in my true size, which I wear casually. And I believe in that one, I talked about, you know, maybe getting a clear sole option one of these days, who knows? Well, apparently Nightwing knows because here it is, clear sole option, baby. I might just have to play in these just to see what they play like. I don't really want to ruin them, but at the same time, my USA joints are all white and those got ruined pretty quick. So get anything for you subscribers, right? Well, that pretty much takes care of it. That is everything for today's unboxing. A ton of dope Really hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for all of your support. It's greatly appreciated and I'll catch you guys next time. So until then, have a good one. Crazy. We got some kicks. Woo, damn. This is what I'm rocking today too. This is sick. Upgrade? Yo, these are dope, dude. Major shouts to Adidas, man. So that's it for now. I'm gonna go do my thing. And uh, if I remember or feel like it, I'll try to update you guys throughout the day. But you know, I don't like vlogging, so I'd like to experience life. The real cushion that you're receiving comes from a rectangle shaped 10 millimeter thick zoom air unit that is placed right along the footbed here at the ball of the foot, otherwise known as the strike zone. Now, despite the cushion being on the minimal side, they really don't feel like that while playing. Now, it's not an abundant amount of cushion. You're just not feeling that you have a lack of cushion while playing in the shoe. 